everybody. It's really lovely to connect again uh, for our second video of our Breathe, Laugh and Relax program. My name is Michelle Major. I am founder of The Sunshine Project. And these videos are um, a, a collaborative project um, with Mid and East Antrim Age Well Partnership. So thank you um, to that wonderful organisation. And the project is the Safe Social Club Project. So, yeah, it's really lovely to connect in with you all again today. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, whichever time of the day that you're choosing uh, to watch this video. It's, uh, it's lovely to connect. Uh, I'm not sure what the weather's like in your neck of the woods today, but certainly on the North Coast, it's, it's really nice and sunny, really nice and sunny. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the first video. The first video, we'll do a little recap of the first video. Um, it's good to do a recap, isn't it? So we'll do a wee recap and then we'll get started into today's session. Um, so each week or each video, we're going to be layering up different techniques and different skills and um, different tools that we can use to help us um, feel calm and relaxed, but also feel uplifted and motivated um, and grounded in our um, minds and also within our bodies as well. So on the last video, we did a little introduction, if you can remember, to belly breathing. So we talked a lot about how it's, it's really important um, if we can, to invite our breath to move down past our chest and into our tummy. And there's a whole range of benefits that we talked about the last time. We talked about how this can impact and benefit your digestive system and your heart rate and your blood pressure and just generally feeling um, good about yourself and calm and relaxed. So we did an introduction to, to breathing. We did some diaphragmatic or belly breathing into our tummy. And then we did um, some really fun laughter exercises followed by uh, relaxation. So today we're going to start off with a little bit of very, very, very gentle, gentle movement. Very, very... Um, very simple things that we can do every day to release tension in our bodies and help us feel more settled within ourselves. Um, so first of all, and we, we're going to do this every week because it's really, really important. It helps us come into the here and into the now. So whatever surface your body is on right now, whether you're seated or whether you're lying down, just really Feel the surface on your body or behind or supporting your body, should I say. And as you do that, just notice the parts of your body that are in contact with that surface. So for me, sitting on the seat, it would be my back, my sit bones, and my thighs. Okay? Lovely. And now we're going to have a wee look around. We're going to look around to our right. So we're going to look around. And we're going to have a look around what's in our room, what's up, what's down. You might even look behind you. Just noticing what you can see in your space, in your environment, in your room. And then we move over to the, the left. And again, looking up, looking down, just noticing what you can see. Noticing the objects, noticing the colours. And just checking in with how you're breathing. Noticing how you're breathing as you check out your space. And then we're going to come to our shoulders. And we're going to just check in with our shoulders. And we might not like to do a little tiny row. So just rolling, so taking one shoulder first, so say the right shoulder, and just gently rolling it back. Very slowly and very gently. And pausing. 
And then moving it the opposite direction. So moving it forward, pausing. Brilliant. Just taking a moment to notice the difference in the shoulder that has been moved and the shoulder that hasn't. And can you notice a difference? I can. So let's move the other one. So nice and slowly rolling it back. We, we do carry a lot of tension here in our shoulders. And when we become stressed or anxious, we, we, we tend to hold it in that part of the body. And then moving it the opposite direction. And then allowing your shoulders just to drop and sink down. Lovely. And finally, we talked a little bit about the jaw. And we carry a lot of tension here. Oh, so what did you do? Thank you all. And just allow nice and gently your jaw to move. And yawning is a great way just to release tension um, in our jaw. Now, last week we did a little bit of this type of breathing where we breathe in through our nose and breathe out through our mouth as if we're holding a straw. So that is called straw breathing. And we're going to do three of those breaths right now. Okay, so let's breathe in through our nose. And out through your mouth. Lovely. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay. So let's do that again. So breathing in. And breathing out. Lovely. And let's do that one more time. Breathing in. And breathing out. Lovely. Lovely. Hopefully you are feeling more in the now. And what I mean by that is I mean you're feeling more present, more um present with your body, present with your mind in this moment. Um, and those are really simplistic tools that I use every single day to just check in with how I'm feeling um, and check in with the body. Um, so I invite you to do the same. And it's really good that breathing, if you're feeling um, overwhelmed or anxious, sometimes just a a few deep breaths of the, that straw breathing can really help us come back into the here and now. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Today, the breathing exercise that we're going to carry on doing today is, and we're going to close our eyes for this little exercise, and we are going to count our breath today. I remember when I was a little girl and I couldn't sleep at night, and I remember my mum saying about counting sheep <laughs> did you were you told that when you were when you were little um, and it was only when I started to do this work and learn about the mind and the body and the power of integrating both of those that I realized that actually there was a little bit um, of science behind the counting of the sheep because it distracts our mind from thinking about thoughts. And sometimes when we go to bed at night, our bodies maybe feel tired, but our mind starts racing. And we start thinking lots and lots and lots of different thoughts. And then, of course, our thoughts can have an impact on how we feel and, and um, our bodies. And it can, if you remember last week, we talked about how it can um release hormones, uh, cortisol and adrenaline, and those can keep us awake then within our bodies and can make us feel quite unsettled. So there is, there is some science behind the counting sheep, 
But what we're going to do is we're going to bring the counting in and we're going to bring it in along with our breath. So we're going to count our breath. And the really powerful thing about that is you're focusing on your breath. So therefore, that has a real calming um, effect on the body. And then through the counting, it distracts us from thought. So there's two key benefits of that. So we're going to do that today. And if you do struggle with your sleep, it's really good for that. Okay, will we give it a go? Okay, so no matter where you're sitting or lying right now, I'm just going to invite you to really sink into the surface. And if it feels comfortable for you, you might like to close your eyes for this. Or you can keep them open, just find a little spot to stare. So just taking a moment to connect in with your breath. Noticing how you're breathing today. You might have noticed that your breath has changed from when we started our session this morning. You might have noticed some very subtle changes to your breath. But no matter how subtle or how big, every change is welcomed and celebrated. So just checking in with your breath. And as we did last week, and I love this little exercise, just noticing when you breathe in through your nose, how your breath feels a little cool. And how when you breathe out through your nose, the breath feels a little warmer. So just noticing that very subtle change in temperature from the breath in to the breath out. And as you continue to notice that, I'm going to invite you to imagine that your breath is moving down past your chest and lungs and is moving into your tummy so that when you breathe in, your belly expands and fills in a little bit like a balloon. And when you breathe out, then the belly empties. And don't worry if you find your breath is not moving down into your tummy. Just be really gentle and kind with yourself and just notice the rhythm of your breath. Noticing the rise and fall of your tummy and chest. And as you notice the rhythm of your breath, noticing the stages of your breath. So the in-breath the pause that follows and the out breath before the next inhalation. We talked a little bit about this last week, but noticing these stages is key to counting our breath, which we are going to do in a minute or two. So just noticing the rhythm Noticing the stages of your breath. We're not going to change our breath in any way. We're just going to notice how our body is choosing to breathe in this moment. And as we notice our breath, we just give ourselves some compassion and kindness. So before we start counting, again, just becoming aware of the in-breath, the pause that follows, the out-breath, and the pause before the next inhalation. And we're going to do a very, very, very simple counting exercise today. We're going to breathe in for the count of four. We're going to pause for two, breathe out for four, and pause again for two before the next inhalation. And I will talk you through this breathing process to help you. And then I will be quiet so that you can 
get into your own natural rhythm and flow of your own breath. And if you find that your out breath is longer, which for a lot of people it is naturally, then you can allow your counting to extend to perhaps six, if that feels comfortable. But only do what feels comfortable. So let's breathe in for the count of four. Pause for two. Breathe out for the count of four. Pause for two. Before the next inhalation. I'm just going to pause now for a couple of moments and let you practice that breathing. So just continuing to breathe in, the count of four, pausing for two, and breathe out for the count of four. Lovely. And then you can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, just rub your hands together. And you can put your hands in front of your face without touching your face. And then gently just opening the eyes and bringing the eyes back into your room and space and coming back onto the call. Hi. I hope you enjoyed that counting exercise. Um, it really is hugely beneficial, especially for sleep at night. It really can help settle the mind and body. Okay. So. Let's move on to the next part of our session today, which is our laughter. And I talked last time about all the lovely benefits that laughter can bring for our mind and body. And of course, we only have to start laughing and we immediately feel lighter and brighter and uplifted. So we know because we feel it. And I'm sure you could feel the same when you were doing the breathing. It's very calming. It's very soothing. It's very nurturing. Um, so now it's time for a little bit of fun, a little bit of energy, a little bit of movement. So if you can remember last week, we clap with our palms flat and we have two claps and chants that we do. So the first one is, and you can join in with me, please. Very good, very good, yay, with your jazz hands. Very good, very good, yay. <laughs> Do you know what? It's impossible to do that without smiling or laughing, isn't it? It's just a really joyful movement, isn't it? Okay, so that's the first one. The other one, if you remember, we do a ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. A ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. A ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, last week, our last video, um, should I say, we did, what did we do? Yes, pardon me. We did our balloon breathing, didn't we? So we rubbed our hands together and we held our imaginary balloon, didn't we? And we breathed in and then we breathed out. Yeah, do you remember we did that? So this week we're going to do a new one. So something new for you to learn this week. And I might have to move my move back a little bit so you can so you can see me for this one. Let's see if I can if I can work this. Yep. So this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold cup our hands at the bottom of our tummy and we're gonna breathe in, move our hands up, 
Breathe out, push your hands down. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. And you can maybe see the movement in my tummy when I breathe in, the belly expands and fills. And when I breathe out, the belly then empties. Okay, so let's start off our fun-filled laughter session. And we are going to start with our greeting laughter. And I invite you to join in with me. And do you know what? If you can smile, smile. If you feel like laughing, laugh. And do you know what? Do you know what the benefit is? It doesn't actually matter whether it's a real laugh or it's a fake laugh. We actually get the same benefits. So our bodies and our brains don't know the difference between a fake laugh and a real laugh. So do you know what? Just fake it. Just do a fake laugh because your body won't know the difference and you get all the lovely benefits as well. And you know what I find? I find that when I start off fake laughing, eventually it turns into a real laugh, a real giggle. So <laughs> um, let's give it a go and see how we get on. Okay, let's do some greeting laughter. Greeting laughter, we always start off with this, don't we? where we are going to wave at each other and we're going to smile and we're going to allow that smile to develop into a lovely laugh. And let's do a ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. A ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. A ho, a ho, a ha, ha, ha. Wonderful. Let's do our breathing. And I'll move this down to remind you. So we're going to cup our hands at the bottom of our tummy. We're going to breathe in. We're going to breathe in. And breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so the next one we're going to do today is shy laughter. And sometimes I do this actually, sometimes if I'm, if I'm having a, a very big laugh and, uh, with friends, I, I notice that I put my hands over my mouth sometimes. Do you notice that about your laughter? Um, so shy laughter is where we put our hands over our mouth and nose, and we do a wee tiny. <laughs> We're very shy. <laughs> Not a bit of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that was very good. Very good. Very good, very good, yay! Excellent. So we're going to do another laughter exercise. And if you notice with the laughter, we're playing, we're being really playful. And if you look at kids, they're playful and that's why they laugh. They play and through their play, they laugh. So that's why we do all of these fun, playful exercises because they really help us get into that childlike, playful state uh, which is so joyful so the next one we're going to do is we're going to make a milkshake and um, do you like milkshake it's it's a wee bit like marmite isn't it do you either love them or you hate them <laughs> i'm a bit in the fence with them to be honest um so let's make a milkshake so we've got milk in one hand we are flavoring in the other and we're going to make a milkshake now i'm going to go first and then i'm going to invite you to Join in with me. Okay, so first of all, we pour in our milk with a whoop, and then the flavoring with a whoop, and then we're going to mix it up with um, my mum. What was it? My granny used to say a tipper, tipper. Do you know what a tipper is? <laughs> tipper is a wee <laughs> laugh. Do you know, maybe that's a Tyrone saying <laughs> where I'm originally from? 
<laughs> and then after three, we're going to drink it with a really loud belly laugh. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant okay <clears throat> let's do that together milk flavor let's make a milkshake whoop whoop <laughs> and after three we're going to drink it one two three whoop <laughs> Let's do our clapping and our chanting. So let's do our ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Wonderful. Let's do our lovely breathing. Can you remember how to do it? So we're going to cup our hands at the very bottom of our tummy. And we're going to breathe in, move our hands up. Breathe out, move your hands down. Beautiful breathing in. And breathing out. Wonderful. The next laughter exercise we're going to do is called open the curtains laughter. So we're going to open the curtains. We're going to pretend that we're opening our curtains in the morning. And as we open our curtains, we are going to do a beautiful, joyful laugh. It's a new day and we're going to focus on feeling good because when we feel good, do you know what? Our days tend to go quite well. So if we can start our day off on a good footing, um, we'll release all those lovely endorphins, all those lovely feel-good hormones. And even if we do get a wee blip throughout the day, do you know what? We'll have so... We've built up all that lovely resilience that we'll be able to handle whatever life throws at us. So let's do open the curtains laughter. I'll go first. Then we'll all join in together. Ready? <laughs> So let's do that again. One, two, three. <laughs> and that was very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. Wonderful. So as you look outside, so we've just opened the curtains and we've done a beautiful, joyful laugh and um, I want you to look over to your window in your room mine's just right here to the side of me where's yours it might be in front of you it might be to the side so wherever your window is I'm going to invite you right now just to look outside your window and as you look outside your window I want you just to notice what you can see when you look outside your window if you're up high you might only be able to see the sky. And if you can see the sky, I want you just to notice the colours. Notice if you can see any clouds, sunshine, blue. Skies, and the nice sky is very blue right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I want you to notice, is there anything outside that you can notice about nature that you particularly like? And just notice how it feels on the inside. Notice your breath and your breathing as you notice whatever it is you can see on the outside. So for me, I have a beautiful um, tree in my garden. It has um, nearly onto like a red leaf. And as I look at it, there's a beautiful contrast between the blue sky and this tree. And there's just a very slight breeze. You can see the leaves just very gently moving back and forward. And 
Yeah. And that reminds me when it moves back and forward. It reminds me that my breath moves in and out. Mm. And out. And it also reminds me that my body and my emotions and my feelings come and go, come and go. So there's lots of, nature can teach us a lot, can't it? There's, there's lots of things that can teach us. Lovely. So I invite you to look outside your window every single day and notice what you can see in nature. And notice when you notice what you can see, how you feel on the inside and how it affects how you're breathing. And perhaps in this moment, we could give some gratitude to nature. Um, because it is so joyful. So that takes us on to the next part of our session, uh, which is our lovely relaxation. Um, so I'm going to get some music this week. I'm going to be very fancy and get some music. And hopefully this works. Um, hopefully this works. Let's see if I can actually do it via the computer. Might be better via the computer. So just Bear with me two wee minutes till I see if I can do this. So as I'm getting the music ready for our relaxation, I am going to invite you to get as relaxed as you can on the surface that is supporting your body. And what I mean by that is just reminding yourself to drop your shoulders and really feel the support of whatever surface um, your body is resting on right now. So I've got this little scene. Um, I'm going to share, 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 share. Computer audio. Here we go. We've been selling the kids' outgrown things on the Vinted app to help pay for extra bits this school year. School dress, £17. Pounds. Trousers, £30. Pounds.
together and rub our hands together. And this time, before we open our eyes, we're gonna take our hands and the tips of our fingers, and we're just gonna tap the top of our head. Put sunglasses on. So we're just gonna very gently tap the top of our head, the sides of our head, and the back of our head. And then we can do a big stretch. What are you on? So just moving your body very gently, very slowly, in whatever way feels comfortable for you. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and just take a moment just to orientate back into your space. So just noticing what you can see in your room again, taking a wee moment just to look around and notice what you can see. Hello, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little relaxation. Um, it's been really lovely connecting with you again. Yeah.